Hi guys, today we will be deploying a Flask application on a Red Hat OpenShift cluster that runs on IBM Cloud. Or my instance runs on IBM Cloud. Um, it could run on any other um, cloud that, uh, that offers uh, Red Hat OpenShift. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it. As you can see in front of uh, me, it's, uh, it's a uh, Flask application, very simple one. Um, it just has a method that returns a front page. Um, and there's nothing special about this front page. Um, I can just show you here if I run this application, you will see that it's just another regular front page that has, <laughs> although don't mind it has some text in Danish because it's an earlier project that I've been working on. Um, this is irrelevant for, for, the, for the deployment, of course. So what do we need to look at here? So the Docker file that I created for the project, also a simple one, but you should only think about the port here. So I expose port um, 8001. And remember, it is very important that you expose the same port in the Red Hat cluster, um, the OpenShift cluster, as you expose in the application, or else it won't um, um, apply the right port. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. So um, open your cluster, go on your developer. On the topology, we are going to create a project from a Docker file. So what do we need here? We will need the repo, the GitHub repo um, to paste here in the URL section. Um, and now we need to change it to 8001 as we had specified in the project, in the Docker file specifically. Now we can change the, um, the application name to YouTube test and the name as well. Um, now this is actually everything we need to deploy the application. But bear in mind, if you have something, uh, some uh, connection strings to databases or APIs or anything you want to keep secret, you can create secrets here that, uh, that interacts with the application that you deploy. Um, but since we don't have that, we will not uh, mind this and we will just go ahead and create it. Now here we have it, it's uh, currently it's building. Um, as you can see, if you hover your mouse over these two arrows here, um, this shouldn't take uh, so long um, for small applications. Of course, you have if you have bigger application, it might take uh, some time, but uh, this should be here in uh, any second now. And as soon as it's up, we will be able to see uh, the application running like we saw it run on the local host. If we go ahead and try to open the URL, it will say that the application isn't available because it hasn't been started or it's still starting. Let's go back and see if it's, there we have it. If we hover over the check mark, we can see that the build is complete. So we can go ahead and open it and there we have it. This is the URL for uh, the deployed application. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. It's so easy to use OpenShift. Um, go ahead, play with it. It's fun. If you have any questions, just ask me. I will try to answer them as good as I can. All right. Bye, guys.